I'm Peter Greenberg for AOL Travel. Virtually every single hotel these days claims they've got a children's program, but it doesn't mean it's a great children's program. In fact, in some cases, it might mean they've knocked out a wall between two rooms and thrown in a bunch of crayons. It can be that bad. Other hotels have gotten a little smarter. They figured it out. If the kids are happy, they might just bring their parents. At the Broadmoor in Colorado Springs, the kids have more than 3,000 acres to play on. But one of the favorite activities is when the chef takes the kids and helps them bake and then decorate cookies. And lots of them. In England, near the Dartmoor National Park, you'll find Bovey Castle. There, the kids' program is truly hands-on. Every morning, the children go out to the farmhouse, and then they get to pick their own eggs for breakfast. And at the Ritz-Carlton Grand Lakes near Orlando, Florida, it's all about the kids. There's a special kids' check-in, and the children even get toys, not to mention their own driver's license followed by their own mini Mercedes, which they can drive down the hall or go visit their older brothers and sisters when they're learning to play golf. Oh wait, there's more. After golf, let's not forget the children's pedicures. The bottom line is you must come up with a mutually agreeable definition of terms with that hotel as to what exactly they think and you think a great children's program is. Because if you don't, you're going to have some unhappy kids. And I can almost guarantee you that if your kids aren't happy, you're not going to be happy for AOL Travel. I'm Peter Greenberg.